we're back. Welcome back to baseball, everybody, right here. YouTube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean. Today, we hope to avoid our season-long losing streak of four games. The most we've lost in a row is three. We have not been swept this entire season, but we are on the verge of being swept in a long series as the Mariners cap off a four-game set against Patrick Sandoval, who was 6-2 with a 2.69 ERA uh, in the Los Angeles Angels. Marco Angels. Marco Gonzalez, 7-2 with a whatever, 3.29 ERA. Something like kind of flickered on my monitor over here. Um, and by monitor, I mean laptop screen. 3.29 on the ERA. And yeah, it has been a hellacious series. It has been absolutely abysmal. We have been outscored, was it 15 to 3? It is it is bad. Now, the first game, things got a little out of hand. That kind of jukes the stats a little bit, but it does not D uh it doesn't like put any doesn't remove any of the terribleness with which I have been playing offense. Uh we mercifully have a day off tomorrow, but we do see Los Angeles for another three game set at the end of the week. So it gets kind of interesting where like, what do we, what do we do? You know, we're, we could fall to a game and a half ahead, uh, two games ahead. I'm not sure, sure how it's working right here. Um, uh, somehow we ended up a half game off of, oh, cause it's not, that's not cause they're not behind us. I'm dumb. No, it still is weird. No, it's not. It It's right. I see where my mistake is. There aren't even two games behind us. We can fall to a game and a half, a game ahead of Los Angeles. We can fall further back at the Astros. It's a worrisome time here for me as, uh, as our season continues. I got thrown off by the half game because it is behind. I'm so used to being in front in first place that I didn't even understand that another team could possibly be leading. We're, we are wearing our Sunday best for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day if you're celebrating. Um... This is a nice reminder for myself tomorrow to uh, make a make a nice post or something. Uh, something for my dad. Well, let's see. Marco Gonzalez, he's on the mound. We have a left-handed pitcher here. So a couple of these lefties are going to get sat down. Um, it's kind of a dangerous game because I'm going to end up with a lot of right-handed hitters, which means if they bring in a right-handed pitcher, I might be in some trouble. But... That's okay. We can deal with that problem when it comes to us. Uh, who needs rest the most? Technically Crawford. Toro plays third. Let's see. So, okay, let's get the lineup set. France. Uh, Lewis is kind of far down there. Um, we are going to make sure that we want, we want Dom T. Williams all the way up here. We want France with Frazier, Dylan Moore. Ugh. Anywhere you put Ty France, his his speed is like such a pain. Interesting. Evan White has more power against right-handed pitchers. Do I squeeze? Who's the DH? Dylan Moore. He's a second baseman. Do I squeeze Haggerty in the lineup somewhere? Do I throw Jake Fraley? No, no, no. Not Fraley. Not Fraley. Haggerty is the lone piece that I kind of want to figure out if I can get in here somewhere. Um, he is what primarily a second baseman. That's typically Adam Frazier. Ideally, I would replace one of these right-handed batters. So I at least have a switch hitter coming up, uh, later. I think what gets interesting here is I can, I have France at third, so I could always pinch hit Toro and replace him. Um, Later in the game. But do I just make Sam Haggard to the DH? I think I do. Get him up here with... 
with that. And then Crawford can go here. And then Frazier can go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe flip these guys. Do I put Dom T. Williams all the way down at the bottom? I want the speed. Let's go with that. So I'll have a switch hitter, a left-handed hitter, three righties, a left, two rights, a left. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Can we take one game from this series? Can we make this a little less of a pain in my butt? It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Seattle Mariners. John Shambi alongside Chris oh, we got the uh, MLB the Los Angeles Angels and network. Game four of this the offense is batting 286, and they've allowed three earned runs over three games. Gross. Level against any opponent, Chris. Well, you know these guys are feeling really good showing up to the ballpark today. Warm-ups, batting practice, everyone smiling, bouncing around, and they don't want to change anything that's helped get them the wins in the first three games. A big opportunity today, and they'll try to keep those positive vibes going. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And towing the slab here. Marco Gonzalez, Marco Gonzalez one of our better days, pitchers. 14 starts, 7 and 2 record, 329 ERA, 93 innings pitch. We did get, uh, I mean, we gave up three home runs in like the, or three runs, excuse me, in the second inning. A couple of, couple of home runs from Logan Gilbert yesterday, but he pitched eight pretty solid innings. It was just that our offense was real bad. Here comes a pitch. But it's Baja summertime, everybody. The Baja Blast is out. It is tasting good. It is feeling fresh. Remember when I was like going to drink a lot of water and now it's just Baja Blast all the time? Out to short. Crawford handles the chance. And he beats it. It's a little slow on that one. I feel like I don't do a good job of preloading the throw if I don't think he's going to get there. And I wasn't sure that he was going to get there. This is not the start that I wanted. I think we're a cold team facing a hot team. We are having some trouble with it. I think we can challenge that. Adrian Placencia, the next to hit for the Angels. First offering misses the mark. The lefty, the 1 0. Fletcher gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. The two one. Fought off foul. Too fast on that, okay. Kicks and deals. They had a foul ball. Next offering is fouled back. Is there anything I have that I he has not seen? Well, let's get uh, kind of cute here. Let's try a four seam. That's off the mark. Okay, that was surprisingly not very accurate at all. Okay, a really, really fucking long at bat here. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Frazier. How about that double play? That is third. The center field number 27. Mike. Here's Trout. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy. Hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slug too. There we in go. There for strike one. Got a little bit of what I give to a lot of other teams a big long at bat that ends with a. This hitter gets a strike or two on him. He's still very comfortable because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball. He's a threat uh, deep into the count as well. Rolled right into a double play. The pitch count becomes less of an issue, though, still a worry. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And 
and the pitch. Up the middle. Frazier on the okay. first Okay, so time. between first inning, though, a lot of pitches thrown. Something to keep an eye on as this game progresses. Uh, not exactly sure what the pitch count was, but it was probably close to 20. One of the weird things about... I want to say it was like game two. There were only two innings that we had like really bad pitch counts. The problem was that they were like 20 plus. Otherwise, it was like single digits. Circle change at 87. Fuck me. Oh, God. A four seam at 96. A two seam at 96. Slider at 88. And a 12 6 curve at 81. That misses. Ball one. And the 1 0. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep oops, it on the Oops, corners. oops, oops. I didn't want to do that. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. And he flips a breaking oof. ball in there or a changeup. Okay, how do I get that off Either my screen? One. Something off speed good arm action on it whatever it was out to short Placencia early on that collects. circle change whips it to first one up one down Haggerty was such a huge piece in the wins against Minnesota otherwise I mean we're looking I, I think the first game was a pretty safe bet that we were going to win though it got a little dicier that third game is uh, maybe the most improbable win I've had like I've ever playing this game First pitch, just misses. I am usually on the other side of that. Without that win in extras against Minnesota, we are looking at a uh, five-game losing streak. Instead, we're just one in four in our last five. Batting to me, hurt. it's just a really no, controlled, true. balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. This is Kyle Lewis. See if maybe he gives me something up top. He did. He get well. I mean, kind of. A little surprised to be that late. A little surprising, I should say, to be that late on a. In the air, left field. Under. Damn it. it puts the squeeze on that Damn one. it. Yeah. That should have been out of the fucking ballpark. Fuck. Now here is that Mitch is Hanniger. Drove in their only good. run in last night's Mitch. game. Hanniger. In there and it's 0-1. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And here it comes. Now the count is even. Honestly, I didn't trust it to stay there in the middle. Kind of zipped by and went up. Huh, huh. And pitch. Lifted in the air, right center Fucking field. Fucking Christ. Ward makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mariners lead one. We played an inning. No score. Back in Seattle, new inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Anthony the Rendon. The third baseman, the pitch. number six. Anthony on the ground to short. To first. So 18 That's pitches in the Rendon. first inning. Not terrible. A lot of them were on the one at bat. Um, Omar Narvaez at the plate. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Just missed. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Swing and a pop-up. 
Crawford makes the play and there are two down what about some no no's like you can't call the umpire blue that the way you do in little league or high school right <laughs> yeah even in the minor leagues you'll learn quickly uh, you call the umpire blue you better learn his name and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player Wings and lines a base hit into left field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this that struggle. We saw the numbers right coming into the ball game, three. but Taylor. all he's trying to do at this point is Ward. help his team win. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Oh. Next Fuck off, you! God low. damn it! And that's ball one. Second inning here, no score. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Fly ball down the line. And the inning oh, okay. is over. Angels strand one. Uh, for some reason, I thought there was only one out there. I was like, why is he running so far away from the base? Well, because it was out number three, so. So here's Murphy now. His home and away splits there. Wow, actually, very even. Murphy. Sandoval back to work. Say when. Yeah, I, I thought maybe he'd throw another thing over the middle. Deal one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Wow, somehow that was early. That actually that felt late. That exists. The second baseman. Adam. Here's Adam Frazier. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Thought that was going to be a check swing, but that's all right. This to third. Oh, he gloves it. And that's a great yeah. play for the out. Third baseman have to be so quick with their first step reactions. Hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. Yeah, the batter now, Ty France. Slider way inside. Ty France significantly more powerful against right-handed pitchers, or left-handed pitchers, excuse me. That'll drop in for a liner. 74 power. So he gets on base and keeps it going. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride low, out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And here is Evan White. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Ooh, that circle change dropped on me. And misses and it's nothing Shit. Oh, fuck me. Rail late on that. That makes sense. Liner, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit. Can we get some two out damage here? Up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job Something done right there. Williams. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Here's the left fielder, Dom Thompson Williams. 
Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. <laughs> Damn it, late. Off. Yeah, really late on that one. Williams has good power against lefties. And there's a base hit. Not He's worth the risk. That one into third, and a really good throw from Trout. So, a really good hold the there. on time and flew it in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good now a huge at bat in this game coming up and here is Sam Haggerty and a pop-up right side foul territory brings it in and that is that and the Mariners strand the bases loaded we'll move to the third with no score I was waiting for it to drop. Out of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, for the Chad Angels. Pinder, the left fielder, number four. Chad Pinder. And he deals. Going to walk. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Kicks and fires. Out to center. That's a base hit. A little surprised it gave me Lewis. Crawford didn't re even really get a shot at running for that one. I think it was probably just no man's land. So. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Kicks and deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Late swing, fouled off. Pinder on at first, nobody out. Next one just misses, and the count is even 2 and 2. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And out number one on the grab. All right, can we induce a ground ball double play here? That's what I would love to see in this scenario. Ground ball double play. Yeah, circle change. This guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pit. Why? And that gets down into the gap. Headed for the play. He will score, and they take the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your oh, team on the game. board first. Off the bat, he was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you mm -hmm. love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Placencia in the box oh, here. God. Let's that one go for a ball. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Not in time, he's safe. The now Trout gets a chance to hit. Mike Trout. That one's in there on one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Next one misses. Now two balls and a strike. That one in for a strike, two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two away. And at first, now it's Anthony six. Rendon. Anthony Rendon. In there for strike one. Next 
next pitch is out. Man, that sucks. I just cannot get this sinker figured out. And now the lefty falling behind two and one. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Oh my God! Two outs on the ground, right side, and that's just foul. Fouled off. He was late. And a three-two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Brings it in for the third out. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Angels two and the Mariners nothing. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Not shortstop. Sandoval JP. back to work. Ruffer. Remember when we had the bases loaded in the bottom of the second inning? Fuck me, dude. It's got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. I uh, just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Whips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The center fielder, number one, Kyle. Kyle Lewis digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Check swing. Went around. Strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. the ground out to short oh boy it's gonna be one of those games I can't give up on it I mean I gave up on that Minnesota game we were able to put some things together gotta stay locked in focused here just trying to get something going or a bloop and a blast out of this game in the air that's not enough left center and makes okay, the play, and that's out number three Go down <laughs> oh my air. goodness here, two what is going on why I don't understand how the offense has disappeared to this level we I mean we have had this struggle before where we get up in the in the difficulties to like veteran plus and then it just all comes tumbling down and man it is such a fucking struggle sometimes the next pitch misses and the count is one and one Next offering is I, I, okay. Next one misses two and two. Rip to short. Rolls across the diamond, one up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Max Stassi comes up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. This one chopped up the middle. Over to first. There we go, Crawford. Back-to-back -back nice plays the there. That's what you want to see. Two outs, space is empty. And now Taylor. here is Taylor Ooh. Ward. And that's in there for strike one. Well, they kept it pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to okay. give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. The pitch. 
And that one is in for a strike. And a pitch. Worm burner into the outfield. You're fucking enough. shitting me. Come on. <sighs> Get out of these innings, man. Fuck off, dude. I mean, you really? Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Right there, does a great job of staying God in the damn it. Field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. First and second, two down. And here's the first baseman, number five. That one's in there, 0 and 1. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Only two now. Line to left. Thompson Williams makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Okay. Here we go. Let's have some good at bats. Let's get some people on. Come on. We can do this. We can we can get back in this game. The wind of the pitch. Not like that. Not like that with that fucking circle change. I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. But why to kick the pitch? In the air, out towards right center. Trout racing over to. It's in the air too long. Trout has that 90 speed. Hard to get uh, stuff down there. I'm sure. Adam Frazier. Frazier. In there for strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early. In you the fucking game. idiot. Swing and a pop-up. Placencia puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Ty now France Brent. up next the for the Mariners. Swing and a tapper that rolls back. It's all this off-speed stuff. It's all the stuff that's off-speed and has movement. The I have struggled with it this entire field. series. And that is all their fucking pitchers have. The Stop swinging. One swing right there is a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. First one, surprisingly. Close take. Second one, kind of a bad swing. Stays alive. The pitch. Got him. Three up, three yeah, down. Yeah, kind of lot. He locked me up there. Mariners are down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. Here's your 15 XP for showing up. Here at the ballpark, top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. Leading and leading it off, David Fletcher. The second baseman. David. That's hard hit in the line. Can't get there. <laughs> Should be extra bases. <laughs> Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Oh, here we are. Third time through the order, and this is the where we top. see the OPS ADA. jump up. Manager well, might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. I now hate everything about that play. Placencia. I'm pretty sure Danny David Fletcher, Fletcher, who has 35 power, has two fucking perfect contacts. First offering misses okay. the mark. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Take a breath. Stand up. The game on pause. Stand up.
Take a deep breath. Relax. It's fine. It's, it's, everything's fine. We're giving up a lot of hits here. It's not good. The sinker is not working for me. It's not working consistently. I'm getting them in there every once in a while, but a lot of early, a lot of uh, a lot of right or left, you know, a certain number of degrees. It's causing balls to sail either higher in the zone or out of the zone when I'm trying to get something up top. It goes back to, I've, I've talked about it before, a bunch. If I can't get dialed in early, and we're giving up a lot of hits, a lot of hits consistently, too. That is where things start to break down. I don't have the rhythm where I want it. I'm having a hard time getting it, getting it down over and over and over. Okay, don't waste these two good outs. making his way to the plate. A little late on that one. That's a little surprising to see. But. Okay. I mean, we gave it up with no outs. We got a couple of them. I'm asking a lot out of myself to not give up something that can score that. The pitch. Strike two. Perhaps kind of weird how the inverse of it is like I keep putting runners on base offensively with two outs and I'm giving up hits, putting them in scoring position on defense with no outs. It's like I'm putting myself in the worst position for both of those situations. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. White makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 3 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the first baseman. Leading off for the Mariners, the first baseman, Evan. The wind of the pitch. And that's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed. Ew, him no, well no, 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 no. Let that one go. And he deals. Up the middle. Base hit. Off to a, good start. a little surprised that that was not some miracle catch behind his back for an out. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home run. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it, and the speedy runner is on it first. Up next to the out. The designated hitter, Sam Haggerty. And now, Sam Haggerty, hitless in the series. He's 0 for 9. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. Right. I just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the no, 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 no. Never seems to help. Not on Never the circle me. change. Shit. White, the lead runner out at second. Thompson Williams at first with no outs. Way Next outside. Okay, outside. there you go. Yeah, Look that one out. Look that one off, I should say. Ward gliding in towards the infield, and that'll fall for a base hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. 
Well, that's one of those knocks now where you almost expect to get some jabs from your JP. teammates when you get back to the dugout. Well, but the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits. That one's on fine. That one's like fine. That, but there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Pitch there we go. There we go. Even one and one. Let that one go. Out, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points Two, one pitch I'm okay with letting that one go I was looking a little outside that one's way inside And this one could be extra bases. One run across. Now a second crosses the plate. Oops, Another oops, 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 oops. It's 3-3. Three, three. Not in time, it's a double. Three, ribby, double. Let's go, J.P. Crawford. Holy fucking shit. Where has any of that been? Uh, probably could have got him a triple there. But that's all right. I almost kind of fucked it up, but he was he was back in safe. And now for Seattle, Kyle Lewis. Now batting center fielder, Kyle. Slapped Lewis. foul. It's late on it. Fuck! If I could have shot that down the line, just like that, we are uh, we're all tied up here. That's what happens when you you get up, you take a breath, you stop being a fucking baby about shit. And the lefty with the 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that Ooh, base hit. shoot. Ground ball up that, was a, that was a bad swing. And that's the first out at the bottom of the fifth. We have uh, as many runs in this game as we do, do in the entire series combined. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Ah, I want a fucking pitch up, bitch. Jesus. That misses. One and one. Fuck you. Runner leads away at second. On the ground, Placencia handles, slings it across, and they take care of Hanniger for the out. This is where it gets so frustrating for me. Is the catcher number two? We had, we I cleared the bases, got the double, fantastic. Can't bring him home. My two best fucking hitters, and I can't get him in. In there, and it's on one. Next offering is downstairs. We are getting that pitch count way up there. 70 total. 23 in this inning. The 1-1. One, one. And it's fouled away. My fucking circle change. I went from like elated to like irritated. Two outs with my best, like my two best hitters in the lineup. It's like, god dang it. Ah, he froze me with that fastball. That's okay. J.P. Crawford comes through. We got, uh... Hmm. It's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Like, I get on a good roll, nobody out. Luckily, you know, get something to, you know, clear these bases off. Good news. Fantastic. And then strand a runner at second for no fucking reason. Pitching change here, Casey Sadler. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. 
Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And he'll two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. I just... The O2. Hmm. That one just misses. Come on, throw a different pitch here. Got him, Got him on the bottom of the zone. Okay. There we go. Pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the right dugout. You know, those are tough ones Taylor. to let go as a hitter, but Four. with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. <laughs> Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. This one high in the air to left center. Lewis, Lewis didn't take the cleanest pass. path there. I was a little right, right and I, I was worried that I overcorrected to the left, but that's all right. In the gaps, they practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Pinder in the box again, takes the strike. Man, I mean... Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Oh, and two now. And that one off the outside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. France, where the fuck were you going? Righty deals. Just a slow ground ball this time. Zips it to first. Angels retired. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Two. Brought in the six. brought in the new pitcher. All tied up and three apiece. Got it figured out. Frazier France, Evan White coming on so up. They turn things over to one of their young arms, Chris Rodriguez. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Rodriguez. Bottom of the six. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. Way to go for the Mariners. The second baseman, Adam. Sinker at 96, a curveball at 85, slider at 93, uh, circle change 86, and a four seam at 99. And here it comes. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Next offering down low and in the dirt. I hit the button. Short hop liner handled it short. Throws to first. Frazier retired. Now that is. So up next, the third Ty baseman. France. And first offering Fuck. is fouled off. Righty delivers. Yeah, that skips in. Let him throw it outside. For the Angels, Andrew Watts getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Suarez, the lefty, warming up as well. Squibbed out in front of the play. Sean, on to first. Please stop. Please stop whatever you're doing right now. Sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Seven one. And fouled off. Next offering down in the dirt. And one Why? Man, he Why? Was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball 
Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Yeah, that makes sense. He did the literal same thing. Good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle. He was a he was a pattern pitcher right there, and I just did not do what I needed to do there. He went high speed curveball, high speed curveball, and I fell for it. That's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Oh, fuck alive. off. You stupid asshole. Going two now. Out to short. Crawford throws to first in time. And they get the lead off. I don't think that. David Fletcher. Yeah, that sinker wasn't anywhere years. fucking close to where I wanted it. Stop it. Stop letting him sail so much. Softly hit to third. The throw to first. Fletcher retired. So two down now. And here is Adrian Placencia. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Now one and one. One and one. Jesus. So now one and two. The fucking sinker. I cannot throw the sinker. I have completely lost touch of the sinker. And that is that. Angels go quietly there. Still time. Three and three. All right. Uh, three lefties here. And a lot of speed. Bottom of the seventh. And stepping in is the speedy Dom Thompson Williams. With the right hander back to work. Pitch misses. Ball one. If you're the pitch. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball left side. Here's a one one. On the ground, yeah, right that's right, side. Tim. I mean, decent timing on it, but... And a quick out, number one. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the now ground, not. kill some runs while you're at it. Here's yeah. the Mariners' leadoff man, Sam Haggerty. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Next offering misses. And the count is 2-0. and oh. And there's the strike. <laughs> Fuck. Swings and misses. 2-2. Two and two. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Okay. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two out. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a no very hitable three. pitch. Right over the heart of the play, and I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. And first offering is fouled off. 
That decrease in speed is killing me. That one misses. 95 to 84 to 95 to 84. After this guy, he's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, he's got some thunder coming up behind him. On the ground, gets it to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. Mariners go down quietly there. Score remains tied at three. This is uh, really frustrating. That's a that's a missed opportunity. If I'm being honest, um, with uh, three lefties taking on a righty, um, a lot of speed, pretty decent power. I mean, we can get it out of the ballpark with Dom T. Williams and J.P. Crawford. Haggerty has a couple of home runs as well, though he's more, the more probably more of a contact guy. Um, It's 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 innings like that that I, I feel like are really the nails in the coffins of some of these games or comeback attempts or getting anything going. I had one good inning, and Here comes a pitch. that's it. And first we'll off, see what the we'll Bell. see what they bring in in the next one, but that was a huge missed opportunity the right there. And there's a foul ball. The next pitch misses. Down that was a beautiful two. pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Murphy on to first. Important first out to begin the eighth. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. to the right side into the outfield base hit so the go ahead run is on base with a knock oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team to bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep surprised that pitch was uh that effective next offering is in gross 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 stop Get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you gotta look up in the zone and spin. You're up fucking absolutely shitting me. Comes in quickly, holds that go ahead I mean, to be fair, I threw three of the same pitch over and over and over again. Fuck you. God, this fucking game sometimes. It's another fucking goddamn sinker. I cannot. I have no handle on it. Okay. Would have loved to double play. Give me a fucking break. God damn it, game. Whew. Okay, so we get out of that jam. Castillo, I love bringing him in. Huge fan. Feel confident with him. Not my best outing. Fortunately, no damage, though. Trying to get every last drop of that Baja Blast. <laughs> Almost knocked my headphones off. Stop, you fucking idiot. Now look down to first. No swing. Eric Summers go with the call. The pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Thank you. He flexes his Thank you, game. His 13th home run of the season. It's 4-3.
God damn it. Thank you, Kyle Lewis. Holy flopping shit. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. I've been looking for that pitch all goddamn game, frankly. Something that's left up in the zone that I'm getting good contact on. We've had a couple of good pieces of contact that we were able to get, you know, high fly balls on, but just couldn't get anything out of the zone or out of the ballpark or even down in the outfield. Okay, I wanted it. I wanted it again. I wanted it back to back. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. God damn it. Fucking curveballs. Boy, I'm really moving between elation and frustration here today. The punch fuck there, me. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up God the damn it. God fucking damn it. Tom Murphy the up next for the two. Mariners. God damn piece of shit. And that one fouled off. Oh, I hate this curveball. I hate the fucking curveball. He has a 96 mile an hour sinker that drops to an 85 mile an hour curveball. And you can see exactly what's wrong with this whole, this whole series. This is an encapsulation of it. They have had pitchers who are throwing mid to high nineties and then just shit that is 15 miles an hour slower. And it is infuriating. Even, even with, and a pop up right side foul territory makes the grab for the second out. The batter, the second baseman, Adam. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. The sinker that's like right, just right where I look. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that... They have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dump. Controller batteries are low. That's bad. At the belt and fires. There's a strike. Action in the Angels bullpen. Andrew Watts getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Suarez getting cranked up as well. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. And a pitch. Off the mark there, and that's ball three. Frazier off of first with two away. The right-hander gives All right, two there we go. Not what he wanted to do right there. Two out walk action right the there. Five, puts a runner in the scoring position and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Now stepping in for the Mariners, Evan White. And a foul ball. Bad swing right there. I don't need to. I don't need to go up swinging like that so frequently. Curveball. I think it was late on that somehow. Indecisive. Got to look for something fast here. This one in the dirt. It's been three straight curve balls here. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Really late on that one. Holy shit. That one makes more sense that I would be late on it. And he's like, oh shit, that's like really coming in the zone. But Bounce to the left side. They take the force out. And that is the inning. Okay. Kyle the Lewis, the hero of the day. He's road. coming through. We Last got a home run. For the Angels. I, the offense is 
awful. It's just, I mean, it's just awful. I think the the angels might be the most perfect, p like perfect pain in the ass matchup for me. Um, Paul Seawall will take over here. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five. Days. Looking back at like all of the pitchers that they have used, it is high velocity stuff that they that is coupled pretty perfectly with low velocity, off speed shit that I it's just giving me so much trouble just kind of a nice way of saying I'm a big baby at the plate <laughs> can't you throw something I could hit and they're like well stop swinging at garbage I bleh. what I do look forward to not having to play this game tomorrow do a little uh you'll get a, a day off game Ugh, that, that last slider was not what I should have left off on. Chad Pinder leading off the pitch. The left strike right there. Chad Pinder. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure I'll tighten it up on this next bit. Oh, next I just miss it low. Yeah, I wanted to clip the zone. I wanted to throw a fastball instead of a the back-to-back -back sliders. Because I, I think a back-to-back -back slider, like, fuck you. The, uh... Um... That was a weird play, though. I didn't want to throw back-to-back -back sliders with an 0-2 count, so it's 0-1... With a fastball, slider, 0-2. Oh a slider right after that, I think, is easy to lay off because it's it's expected. And I just couldn't get the... Um, just couldn't get the location on it, which isn't surprising. I think this is kind of an easy... Fudge, come on, you gotta, come on. And a swing and a miss, and two away now. He came out of his mechanics there, typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Second base, David Fletcher. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, David Fletcher. In there for strike one. Hey. Next offering is in Ooh. for a strike. That one, that one worried me a little bit. Surprised they got that low into the corner. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And it's through for a hit. I and want to fucking scream. Alive. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Fought off foul. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. And that should be extra bases. Here comes the runner. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Cut down at the plate. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Jesus fucking Christ. That is infuriating. For a person who just won, I am so fucking irritated. That is such bullshit. Good relay. Got it in. And we actually get to open a pack of cards today. We get a win. Kind of, uh, kind of lucky. And we actually get to open some NFL cards today. 
There's not many packs left. I mean, I got the first two outs, not much of a problem, and then just two hits back-to-back. -back. Like, what the fuck? All the way to the corner. David Fletcher was four for five. He was a guy that I just could not get out. Uh, two doubles, a ribby, scored twice. He tried to score a third time, I, I think. Uh, JP Crawford, our player of the game, two for four with a double, three ribbies. Kyle Lewis, one for four with a home run. The solo shot. Dom T. Williams, two for three, scored. Evan White, two for four, scored. Win, Diego Castillo. One inning pitch, two hits, one strikeout. No walks, no earned runs. Chris Rodriguez gets the loss. Three innings pitched, two hits, three strikeouts, one walk, one earned. Paul Sewald with his 19th save of the season. And the Mariners with a bit of a, I'll, I'll be honest, a, a miracle win. I It is stunning to me that I was able to win that game. Whew. Okay. So we're able to do it. We're able to avoid our longest losing streak of the season. We're able to avoid... Uh, four game sweep from Los Angeles. We were able to, um, get a win with scoring five, four or fewer runs or five or fewer runs, whatever the number is. We're good. Everything is okay. I think I, I don't know. It, uh, it was a bit of a mess if I'm being honest, but that's sometimes it's just how it goes. Thank God we got that one, um, that solo shot from Kyle Lewis. Um, I get really frustrated with, with some of the way, the way some of this, the way this game plays with th two outs sometimes. I think that's, that's kind of my big problem. It's just looking at it and being like, how, how, how are we not getting this taken care of? I have a good pitcher. I have, I have a, like a well-rated closing pitcher. And we're still, we're giving up two out, two strike hits. And it's like, fuck, dude, come on. Like, stop. It, that's when it feels the most, like, video gamey. Where it's like, oh, we have, like, a good beat on these, like, first two guys. And then somebody comes in and it's like, oh, I'll just knock a hit through. And it's like, well, your, your difficulty feels cheap sometimes. Didn't matter, got the win. Great relay. Thanks to Dom T. Williams and Ty France, I would guess. Maybe, maybe Crawford. I'm not exactly, exactly sure how they lined up on that, but, um, yeah, we're going to open a pack of football cards. So that's, uh, that's what we're doing now. Super Bowl five, the orange bowl in Miami. Should be a little easier for the camera to pick up the, the cards too, because it's a little more light outside. Ernie Jones, good first name. Come on. I said that, and then it immediately... There you go. Arizona Cardinals, wide receiver. Oh, really? Oh, that's an eight. Oh, okay. I saw like a three or a four. Uh, Carl Banks from the Giants. Looks like he is helping force a fumble from that poor Seattle Seahawk. There you go. Not exactly sure. I would guess number 58. I thought Lawrence Taylor wore 58. Yeah, he wore 56. Never mind. Clarence Verdon. Verdon? Wide receiver. Kick returner. Shout out to the kick returners for the Colts. Jack Lambert. Linebacker from the Steelers. 1990 Hall of Fame selection. I was going to say, that photo looked a little old with the, like, the neck pad or whatever. I was like, oh, that... Kind of is weird. Hey, it's Daryl Talley. He actually wore number 56. What the hell number did Lawrence Taylor wear? Let me know down in the comments below. There's that. It's getting so hot this corner. So hot. Jerome Brown. D-tackle for the Eagles. 
Bam, there you go. Okay, will you please stop this? Uh, Perry Kemp, receiver for the old Green Bay Packers. There you go. This was uh, kind of the dog years of the Pack. Will you f stop it? The Seattle Seahawks coach, Chuck Knox. I like that his hat is just says, like, there's no logos. There's no if ands, or buts. It just says Seattle Seahawks. Gee, I wonder what that person coaches for. Vincent Brown, linebacker for the Patriots. I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how long the Patriots wore the, uh, the red. I always, I guess I assume that's, that's seventies, 60s, seventies, like maybe into the eighties, but, uh, it was longer than that. But I, cause, because my, um, football knowledge starts to become, uh, consistent, I guess, like. The first like memories I have would be like the Super Bowl uh, that Green Bay beat New England. And by that point, they had switched to the blue, so it's kind of just like oh they've they've had the blue for whatever you know. So I guess that'd be mid nineties. So I guess I, hmm. I guess I just look at that and I think eighties, and then I, I don't know. Bring back the creamsicles. Hell yeah. This season is the year that they have the two shell uh, rule for uh, for the NFL and the Saints unveiled theirs, which I don't love uh, with the white jersey. I think if you're going to go like with an all black uniform, I think it would look great. I like the gold helmet with the the with the white because I think it I think it pops a little more. I don't love the the black helmet with that. But I also don't I'm not a huge fan of the all black uniforms with the gold helmet. So I think. You, you take those two helmets, you flip them, you're good. Ooh, last up, we're ending with a kicker. Shout out to the kicker, Eddie Murray. I feel like I have this card already, but there you go. These don't work, otherwise it'd be kind of fun, but the the scratch-offs just don't, don't work at all. All right, that does it for today's uh, baseball game. I almost said football because I was looking at those cards. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a matchup of somebody versus somebody. Let's take a look at the day's games. View today's games. Um, shoot, I don't know. Maybe Arizona and San Diego. We see San Diego later. We've already seen Milwaukee, Tampa Bay, New York. Maybe Arizona, San Diego down there. Let's check the standings. Ooh, actually, you know what? San Francisco, Atlanta. I don't think we see either of those teams. So tomorrow we'll check out San Francisco taking on Atlanta right here on youtube.com slash Seanosaurus Rex. So be sure to scroll down, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that good stuff. And you will be prepared for more baseball when we are back on Tuesday uh, right here on the channel in Oakland, looking to turn things around. We get a half game lead over the Astros with them losing and us winning. Uh, the top three teams separated by three games, each of us five and five in our last 10, uh, wild win for the Mariners today. A lot of just moved between happiness and frustration and back to happiness and frustration. We'll iron this out. We'll go crush the athletics. We'll get set for a big series against the angels in Los Angeles, uh, at the end of the week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for San Francisco, take it on Atlanta. Until then, good sports and go Mariners.